Right, hello there guys, welcome back to a new video. Now it's usually pure filth of the, uh, of the Leon. Uh, I did try and wash it last night, but it was pitch black and I couldn't see what I was doing at the jet wash. So you have to excuse the dirt in the cinematics. Uh, but today, what we're doing is we're number one, filming the last video of the Leon, and number two, filming the first drive of the Leon at the same time. So, um, so yeah, as you guys well know, I'm gonna start, you know, pulling out of this car park. Um, as you guys well know, uh, I've been going on about doing a first drive video of the Leon for quite a while now. And uh, due to all the stuff I've had done to it, I haven't had time to... Oh, I'm flipping it. Okay, I bought stuff already. Uh, <laughs> I haven't had time to film it yet. So, um, so yeah, here we go. We're on the way to get rid of the Leon to pick something else up, which is Japanese. Um, we're going to Essex from Kent, so it's not too bad of a drive. It's a drive I've done quite often. But, you know, we're doing that. And um, I just thought I'd take you guys along with me to uh, experience how, you know, how the Leon drives. So, um, so quick specs of the car for those of you that don't know. Uh, it's a PD150 1.9 TDI, um, 150 horsepower standard. Supposedly this car has been mapped. It's been mapped to about 170 to 200 brake horsepower, um, somewhere around there. And uh, the torque figures are somewhere in sort of like the mid to high 300s. Um, cars lowered on uh, Raceland coilovers, which are nice cheap eBay specials, which actually rides, to be fair, for cheap coilovers, they don't ride too bad. Uh, and this car's on the 18 inch, that's gonna keep it spill everywhere. Uh, on the 18 inch uh, Cupra R alloys instead of the 17 inch FR Plus alloys. Um, so, not, not too bad at all. Uh, I just had to pick up a Mackey's because uh, you know, road trips are compulsory uh, and Mackey's is compulsory to go along with them. So, uh, Mackey's breakfast on the go as well. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get out of here, which I've very nearly done. We'll get onto some more open roads and we'll, uh, we'll see what this car's about. Right, so here we are, about to join a dual carriageway. Now, unfortunately, this is only a 50 mile an hour dual carriageway, not a Mexico speed limit dual carriageway. But, here we go, nevertheless. Let's get some acceleration on the go. quite well um, it sounds very much like a diesel because it is a diesel um, so there's not much sort of engine sound to to really uh, experience with this car it's just you know choo choo train pretty much um, but yeah this car does pull incredibly well it pulls really strong uh, which I really like about it um, the handling as well isn't too bad I mean I don't think it will ever be sorry just looking out for flipping mobile speed cameras um, I don't think it will ever be um, how the Yaris handled because the Yaris was just a monster at handling. But you know, this car don't handle enough bad, uh, especially like I said on the coilovers. And now we've obviously done all the new suspension bits and stuff like that as well. This car feels quite tight. In fact, it feels really tight, uh, which is quite nice. Um, I forgot where I'm going. Oh, I'm going straight across here. It's a Saturday and I'm tired. <laughs> um, so yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll hit some more better roads once I get out of town, and then, you know, carry on. There is another thing, actually, whilst I was doing that, um, I was like feathering the throttle, there is another thing I like about this car, which um, Graham showed me. If you rev this car without dipping the clutch, the revs are sort of quite slow. Whereas if you dip the clutch and then rev the car, the revs are actually really quick. Third gear, Paul, let's go. Yeah, this car's flipping rapid. <laughs> I am gonna miss the performance of this car, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but no, yeah, if you, um, if you don't dip the clutch and rev the car, the revs are quite slow. Um, Whereas if you do dip the clutch and rev the car, the revs are sort of like sped up because it knows that obviously you want to pull away. Really weird, but um, it's really cool at the same time. And that above was about to pull out on me. 
So uh, let's get down onto some uh, motorway, we'll drop it down into second for this. And uh, let's hit some boost. I just love how linear the power is of this car and how quickly it does get up to speed. Because it, it, um, yeah, it pulls you along really well and like the power's sort of like really nice and sort of gradual throughout the rev range. Um, and yeah, it, 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 it feels really nice. Um, so yeah, I, I do believe this car has been mapped. Um, I find it very bloody hard to find out it hasn't been mapped, um, but it definitely feels like it. Um, but yeah, like I said, this is the first and last um, drive video of the Leon, shall we say. Um, obviously, as you guys well know as well, 2022 and the end of 2021 has been quite hectic for me, so I haven't really had time to get videos pumped out regularly. Uh, life is still hectic for me, so I don't know when this will be released. Um, I'm hoping within the next week of where, when I'll film this. Um, so, uh, so yeah, life has been quite hectic as well. I've got a few videos I need to get up before I move out, because I, I am actually moving out now. So hopefully this should be the last video I release before I move out and I'm in my own place. Um, that's, that's how I plan. If I can get another video out, then fine. If I can't get this video up, then fine. But I'm going to try and get this video up. Um, but no, yeah. Other than that, I don't really know what else to really say. Um, in fact, that's another thing I can say. Um, what has this car been like to live with, I guess? Um, to be fair, this car has actually been quite a pleasure to own. And fucking hell, you're coming up fast. Shall we, shall we tango with a Corsa and a Merc? Probably not. Um, no, yeah. Um, what's this car like to live with? Uh, this car's actually been really nice to daily. It's been a bit of a pain in the arse where it's lowered because uh, you know there's certain roads that I can't go down that have like really, really like harsh speed bumps uh, and stuff like that. So it's been a bit awkward trying to sort of like plan my journey, shall we say? But. Um, but no, yeah, this is this has actually been quite a pleasure to daily. I've had no issues with it other than you know what you've seen me fix, which thankfully isn't mechanical issues. Um, the car's been incredibly economical, um, and when I say incredibly economical, like I can do a motorway journey and average like 60 mpg. Like it's been ridiculous. Um, that's a nice Porsche. Um, yeah, no, so it's been incredibly economical. Uh, it's, it's actually quite a nice size. Quite, you get quite a big boot with this car. Um, the legroom in the back ain't too bad. You can, for, you can fit five fully grown adults in this car. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it with it being lowered, but you can do it. Um, and yeah, it's just honestly, it's, it's been quite a pleasure. It's been really comfortable, surprisingly, for coilovers. Uh, it's really quiet. It pulls well. And... It, it saves me money because it don't drink diesel really um, but yeah I've probably put I've put 2,000 miles on this car uh, since I've had it which isn't loads I'm not gonna lie um, but yeah I've put about 2,000 miles on this car all their miles have been trouble free um, which is nice uh, they've been quite quite nice miles quite comfortable miles like I just said um, you know, this, this car really ain't no sweat to drive, really. It does, does everything I would need it to do. It's spacious. It's, you know, got loads of cubby holes and stuff like that. It's really practical. Um, but, yeah, no, I've, I've really, I really have enjoyed this car. But what I've found, well, what I say, I say what I've found, what someone's messaged me about, which is where we're going now to do a swap, um, I'm really interested in. It's, it's a Japanese car. It's turbo, it's top spec, and it's a bit of a barge. But I think I'm going to like it. I think it'll make a really interesting project for the channel. So um, with that being said, I'm going to stop mumbling and muttering and stuff like that because uh, I'm only doing my way trip now. Um, if you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'm going to get on with eating my Mackey's breakfast because I'm starving and I'm a piggo. Um, and... Uh, and yeah, 
So yeah, like, comment, subscribe, like I just said. Uh, have a guess in the comments as, as well as to what the new project could be. Like I've said, it's a bit of a barge, it's Japanese, it's turbo, it's top spec. So, what are you what, what am I swapping? This is a straight up swap, no cash is involved. So it's a low budget JDM car. Uh, so, you know, let, let, leave your guesses down below. Uh, I'd love to see what you guys think it is. Uh, so with that being said, I'm getting out of here. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this journey and I'll catch you guys very soon.